Uh, the first skill we will talk about is one that in every class I have ever taught in Korea, this is what students need to practice most. This is the skill that many Korean students are missing. Let me give you an example of many Korean students. This might be you right now. Where are you from? I'm from England. What city? Oh, Doncaster. What is it like in Don... You see, only question, only question is a problem. We don't just ask questions. We also have reactions. When somebody says something, we don't just go... What are your hobbies? Uh, no, that's not natural. So, for example... Oh, hey, Wayne, uh, what are your hobbies? Oh, my hobbies, I like to watch TV, I like to play video games, and I like to go traveling. Oh, wow, really? That sounds great. I love traveling too. Uh, how many countries did you visit? Did you hear the difference? It wasn't... How many countries did you visit? It was... Wow, that sounds great. How many countries did you visit? This is called reaction. You are supposed to give a reaction to what your friend is saying or your partner is saying. And so let's take a look at the screen now because we want to start practicing. I want to give you some really good examples that you can start using this week. So let's take a look. Here we can see the title. It says follow-up comments and reactions. A follow-up comment, not just a follow-up question, a comment, a reaction. You say something before you ask the next question. We can see there are two categories on this. This first category is encouraging. Uh, what is encouraging? What does that mean? Encouraging is you want your partner, your friend to keep talking. You want to show them that you are interested. So for example, oh, at the weekend I, I went to the cinema. Oh wow, oh, tell me more. You show that you want them to keep talking. It's an interesting topic. The opposite of encouraging is discouraging. We don't want to discourage unless it is a boring topic. So for example, uh, hey Wayne, what did you do at the weekend? Uh, I went to the cinema and I watched the new Avengers movie. Really? Wow. <laughs> that would be discouraging. I would think, oh, this is a boring topic. I won't talk about it. So usually we want to use encouraging reactions. And there are three kinds of reactions in encouraging. We have positive, we have negative, and we have neutral. Let's talk about the positives first. Um, of course, at home, I do want you to do this yourself. Add some new examples, not just the examples I will talk about, because you might know ones that I don't know. Uh, you might have some new vocabulary that I want to start learning. Uh, so the most common one, wow, today is my birthday, wow, my favorite soccer team won at the weekend, wow, uh, so it's a positive. Uh, what are some more examples, what do you think? Well, let me erase this so I can type here. Uh, a good one that we like to use in America. Awesome, so today is my birthday, awesome. Any word that is similar to awesome, we can use. So, for example, fantastic. So, today uh, I will go shopping. I will buy a new computer. Fantastic! Great. Wow, that's great. Wonderful. 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 Amazing! Wow, that's so amazing! Wow, yeah, I'm, I'm so happy, I'm, I'm so happy for you. Let's put that one there. Cool! Cool! So these are my examples. Wow, awesome, fantastic, great, wonderful, amazing, I'm so happy for you. Cool. You can use these examples, add some of your own as well. So that is when there is a good story, a good sentence, so it's your birthday, uh, you're doing something good. Sometimes 
stories can be sad, they can be negative, they can be bad. So we can see negative, oh no! What would be an example of oh no? For example, I got my grade in Global English, I got an F grade. Oh no! What happened? That would be negative. I hope nobody here gets an F grade. You can all um, get a, a good grade in this class, I think. Um, oh no! What are some similar words to oh no? A similar word... something like... I can't believe it! I'm so sorry to hear, hear that! And then opposite words to awesome. Terrible! Horrible! So, another one. How about awful? These are all reaction words when somebody tells you something sad has happened. So, uh, let's say, oh, I lost my homework. Oh, I can't believe it. I'm so sorry to hear that. Terrible, horrible, awful. You want to show that your friend, you are interested, and you use one of these kinds of words. Neutral is the last category. What does that mean, neutral? Positive is a good story. I won the lotto. Wow, fantastic. Uh, negative, something sad. I forgot my homework. I left my homework at home. Oh, that's terrible. How about neutral? Neutral is when we don't know. It's in the middle. We are thinking, hmm, is that good or is that bad? We don't know. It is neutral. So, for example, really. So, let me give you some more examples. So, here, imagine your friend says, Hello, nice to meet you. I am 20 years old. So, we could say positive. Wow, fantastic! Sounds strange. Is, is being 20 amazing? I, I don't know. Is it bad? I'm so sorry, you're 20 years old. No, 20... It's, it's just information. So, we've got, oh, really? We might say... Let me get this right. That's interesting. Interesting means we are not quite sure, but we still want them to tell the stories. Oh, that's interesting. Another one. I understand. I understand. So, really, that's interesting. I understand. So, think of some more that are like this, when it's in the middle. That's interesting. I understand. Uh, let's write one more. I hear what you are saying. It means you are listening. Let's put that one too. I'm listening. Uh, so, you're not sure. Is it good? Is it bad? I hear what you're saying. I I'm listening. You want them to keep going. And now, discouraging. What do we write for discouraging? This is when you are talking to your friend or your classmate and it's a topic that is boring, or you are not interested in this topic. So, for example, uh, imagine you hate soccer. You don't like soccer, and I love soccer. And I say, hey, my favourite soccer team, Leeds United, we won, yeah! You don't want to talk about soccer. You want to change the topic. So, you might say, oh, good. And then I react, oh, he or she doesn't want to talk about soccer. So, oh, um, and I watched a new movie, I watched Avengers. You are telling me you don't want to talk on that topic. So, oh, good. Imagine it's a negative. Imagine uh, your friend breaks up with their girlfriend or boyfriend. Hey, uh, I had a horrible weekend. I broke up with my girlfriend. Hmm, how sad for you. And then I go, oh, um, so di did you do your homework? I changed the topic. I know it's not very interesting. 
And then we have neutral. So imagine I said, hey, I have a pet turtle. And you think, oh, that's not interesting. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Let me give you some advice now. Uh, what's the big difference between encouraging and discouraging? What's the big difference? Actually, there is not much of a difference. So let's have a look. We can take these ones. Let's say we write here. Let's say we have awesome. Now, if it's encouraging, I just go awesome. Wow. You can hear my voice. Sounds excited. My body language, my face. I'm wow. That uh, tell me more. Discouraging. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> it shows that it's not an interesting topic. And you can do that with all of the words. So for example, I won the lotto. Fantastic. Let's try one more. Uh, I got an A plus grade in my f in my midterm exam. Mm, amazing. It's showing that it's not very interesting. Uh, again, let's have a look at negative. So we have how sad for you. So I forgot to watch the last global English video. How sad for you. <laughs> it, it's not uh, very excited. It's not an encouraging reaction. So then you might say something again from before. Terrible. That's terrible. And the last one. Mm -hmm. Let's put this one here. So what did we have before? Let's try really. So uh, my favorite movie is The Matrix. Encouraging. Really? Wow, really? Yeah, I love The Matrix. Discouraging. I love The Matrix. Really? Oh, um, so uh, what kind of music do you... Discouraging reaction. 